Hey guys, Han Scythe here today. And uh, in this video, I am playing a game as a Wraith. And if you notice my perks, I have Enduring, Spirit Fury, Barbecue and Chili, and Discordance. And I knew that this was a possible survivor spawn because I played this game. And there was a Mega right here, so I got a really good start of the game. But Enduring and Spirit Fury are a really good combo. Unless the survivors are really, really good and they know that you have those perks. Like, they, they can just tell. Because you'll get hit by a pallet, you recover really fast, you see you have Spirit Fury, and they'll just drop the pallet earlier. So it gets rid of both those perks. However, rank reset happened, and I haven't played the game a lot since then, so I'm still rank 10. And, uh, so this combo is pretty good. Barbecue and Chili, so I can PC other people when I hook survivors. And Discordance didn't really get used much in this game. But when two survivors are working on a gin, it will show me. She got down to really close to the basement, so I was able to get her. And I grabbed this fang off of the uh, gin. So I was able to get two survivors into the basement really early on into the game. So that was really beneficial to me. And I'm using those two add-ons, so they can't hear me. You can see next to my uh, little hand, the wraith hand in the bottom left hand corner but a gin got popped there so I was pretty sad about that but I still had two survivors in the basement so the add-ons make it so no one can hear me when I'm spirit walking and uh, the other one makes it so I move really fast when I'm in spirit walking when I spirit walk but I can't see scratch marks that's the only downside to it but Th that happened, so Jeff, one for one, and Meg, one for one, and then the Meg had borrowed time, so Fang was able to get away. <sighs> so I hang Jeff in the basement, I hook him, and then I go back and I get the Meg and I hook her. I know that no one has decisive strike because there's no obsession. And I wasn't, I didn't really use barbecue, but if I would have saw that right there, uh, I knew someone was working on Jin all the way on the other side of the map. I hit Fang, Jeff, one for one, or had bar time, so he didn't go down right there. I got, uh, firecrackered. But then I was able to get this Meg down after a couple swings and misses, because I'm a noob. But I was able to get her down, and I was able to get her in the basement again. So that was also a very good thing that happened. Uh, and I'll keep putting in commentary at key moments, and I'll try to fast forward through slow parts of the game. But I'll see you guys later. If you remember earlier in the video, I saw Barbecue and Chili, I saw someone working on this gin over here. And if you listen closely, you can hear Meg running. So, I didn't see any work on the gin, but I could hear Meg running, so I knew she was over here. And I felt ba I feel bad for this Meg, because I just come out of nowhere all the time on her. Right here, I found out that she has, uh, Dead Hard. I knew she, I figured she was going to throw on that pallet, but then she just stood there. So I was like, I'll break it and get my Spirit Fury stack. And then I keep on chasing her. And this Meg just comes out of nowhere. And I think she might have been the Meg that I just got unhooked. So I kind of felt bad. But, you know, she literally just ran out of nowhere. And then this Fang came. And I was I was happy. I was fine with uh, letting her take that hit. I still hooked. And I, I thought she might be sitting by that pallet. And she kind of was. If you're paying attention, there was a survivor behind me, I think. Unless I just saw that wrong. I don't know what the Fang was doing right there. She wasn't paying attention. And then I saw the Jeff coming. And I didn't want to get that pallet dropped on my head. So I went to hang Fang. Or hook Fang. Jeff unhooked Meg. Which I assumed he would. And then uh, I phase walk back over. Because I see the Meg. The Jeff is right to my right right there. That was the sound of Jeff. I did, I thought that was just ambient sounds of the game.
but I'm pretty sure it was actually the sound of Jeff. You guys probably couldn't hear it because of me talking. But I get Meg down. I know no one has a uh, DS. And I check around for other survivors. Just in case I'm able to put Meg in the basement. Ugh, I'm tired. And I phase walk back out. And when I fast forward stuff on PS4, it's not very smooth. It's kind of choppy if I do four times speed, but nothing really happens to this part that I chop out. So, yeah. Here, I uh, decide to phase walk into the chapel. And I hear someone's working on the gin. And I guess the spot wrong, because if I would have went behind him, I would have been able to grab him. But I hit Jeff here. I start a little chase. I notice that with Discordance that two people start working. I don't know where Jeff went. I know he's somewhere in the area. But I know two people are working on this with Discordance. But when I get there, they're all gone. And I think it might have been because of I triggered crows. Or because Jeff told me, or Jeff told them that I was phase walking if they were a four man. But then I see Fang over here. And I shake my camera up and down. I get an M1 on Fang. Or an R2 since I play on PS4. I hear her vault it right there. So I know she's right here still. She starts running into the chapel. I decide to phase walk. That was not a good thing that I did. However, she messed up by throwing down that pallet. I wouldn't have known. And then I don't know why she does that. But I get her down. So that is a very good thing. I decide to break the pallet. And then I pick her up. As you saw in that fast forward, they were able to complete two gins without me being able to find them, which is unfortunate. I heard someone working on this gin. I guess the spot wrong again. So I am one to Meg. And I down her right here. And if you listen carefully, you can hear Jeff because he's injured. And I made a really big mistake on letting him go. Well, I almost did. I almost made a fatal mistake. Because he might have been able to find the hatch, and he could have escaped. However, that doesn't happen. But, I run him down. And I guess that is kind of a fatal mistake. You guys will see what happens if you stick around to the, ends, towards the, to the end of the video. I can speak very good words. But, I'm looking around, I hear the hatch, so I go, and I close it. You guys will see what happens next. Alright, as you can see, I'm just going back and forth in between the gates. And then, I don't know what noise that ambient sound is whenever I fast forward. But I'm able to see him. I'm able to get the M1 off. But he pulls an amazing play. And he dead hards right in front. And that makes me pretty sad. <laughs> but what can I do, you know? But I was able to get a Merciless Killer. I got around 75k blood points from that match. And if you guys liked the way I did this video. How I added commentary. And I fast forwarded through the not so fun parts. Make sure to tell me in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.